On July 30th, 2010, by A.M. Liu invented a new 2x2 method called Brass. It stood for Bar Reduction and SS. This method was so groundbreaking, it got 18 comments, only to be lost in ages. One day, I thought of a method, only to find out that it had been made 10 years ago, and it was called Brass. I decided I may as well learn it, but when I clicked on the link, I got a 404 error, but there was another link in the comments. But there's another one. Clearly, this wasn't helping at all, so eventually I tried scoring the internet for other mentions of brass. I found one on a Jack website that translates to puzzle puzzle, and it said no one used the method because it was too complex. But this is 10 years later, so there's probably been some development on corner reduction. And I looked it up, and there was a Reddit post on corner reduction by U dash L L L L L L L dash. And, but unfortunately, his explanation was written in gibberish. Just as I was giving up hope, I found a post on the speedkeeping forums by user Devagio, who had created a method called Uruvu, which also used corner reduction. This actually explained it, so I'm now able to tell you how to reduce corners. The first step is to create a 2x1x1 by one by one bar in the bottom left corner. This is done intuitively like this, and it can be color neutral if you want, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just having a fixed color scheme of yellow on the bottom and orange on the left side. Corner permutation has a numbering scheme that goes like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1 and 2 are considered pairs, so are 3 and 4 and so are 5 and 6. 1, 3, and 5 are all odd, and 2, 4, 6 are all even. The first piece you look for is the DFR corner, number 5, which is right over here. And if this is in an even position, 1, 2, so that means that this is read in the backwards order of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If it were in an odd position, like this, number 3, 1, 2, 3, that would mean that the sequence is read in the forwards order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The second piece you look for is corner number 6. That is the one that goes in DBR slot, and in this case, it is right over here. The goal is to have it paired up with number 5, so this would be the position paired up with number 5 over here. And to do that in this case, since this is even and this is odd, we would have to imagine these two switched as well as these two switch. In a case where both of them are odd or both of them are even, what you do is you switch number 6 with number 5, and you switch uh, number the third corner that is the same type, so this is odd, this is odd, so this is the last odd one, with the corner paired with number 6. Now you read the corners in the order of the, that's specified by number 5, so in this case it's odd, which would mean that it's read forwards, with the corners switched, that you've determined in the previous step but also disregard number 6 and number 5 in the order. So what you get is 3, this is switched with this, so 2, which is over here. Then we skip this, we skip this, and now we're on to this, which is number 4, and now number 1. So you should now have a sequence of 4 numbers. For example, you should have 3, 4, 2, now what you want to do is take any numbers after 4 and put it before the sequence. So you'll end up with, in this case, 2, 1, 3, 4. Now you want to figure out which two numbers you can switch in order to get it all into the order of 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this case, uh, what you can switch is 1 and 2. Uh, another case that may come up is if the number sequence is 2, 3, 1, 4. 
where you actually have to switch 1 and 4, and you'll get 2, 3, 4, 1. But remember, any number after the 4 goes back to the beginning. Now that you know which corners to switch, all you need to do is put the two corners that you need to switch in the top le front left and the top front right, and you can switch it with the algorithm f prime, u prime, f. And now the entire cube is 2gen. So now that you have a 2gen cube, you want to make sure to preserve the 2gen state by only using r and u moves. So what you first want to do is to solve the bottom two corners, and you can do that like that. And now you can solve the top four corners using one of seven algorithms I'll have down below in the description. So now here's a full example solve with the brass method. So first we want to move this corner into its correct position. Now we have the fifth corner here and the sixth corner here. So fifth corner here means that it's red forward since it's an on position. And the sixth corner here means that this is switched with this, and this is switched with this. So now we can read this in the forwards order of 1, 4. We skip this, we skip this. Now we have this, which is 3 and 2. So 1, 4, 3, 2. And then we have 3, 2, 1, because the things after the 4 get put before it. 3, 2, 1, and we can switch 1 and 3 to make it correct. So 1 is over here, and 3 is over here. We switch them, and we can solve the corners, and we have a 2-gen last layer. The pros of this method are mainly that it's unique, it's fairly low alg count, and it's fairly low move count. So you'd probably be one of the few people in the world who use it, and it would be a fairly good method. The downsides of it are that it takes a lot of inspection time, which isn't always the best for 2x2. Two two. It's not a one look, a one look cube for 2x2, two two, which a lot of other inspection time, high inspection time methods are. And uh, it's also not going to help you with any other cubes at all, unless you use your Ruru for one-handed uh, on 3x3. Three three. Thanks for watching. You should now know how to solve a 2x2 two two using brass method. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe and I might make another video in the future.